What is going on, champions? Larry635135 coming to you live today with some VIP gauntlet blitz footage. Uh, today we're going to be using Triple H, King of Kings, the showboat version. You'll see we're going to be using him running yellow, green, green, his primary move set. For the trainers, we're going to be using George Steele to give more green MP up front and Jake the Snake Roberts to have an increased percentage of green on the board to begin with. We'll go ahead and spend four of these tickets. You find one of these tickets in the VIP tour every week. Uh, you have to do that for four weeks, and then you will be able to run this blitz once a month. We're just going to go ahead and set our uh, props up just in case we're not able to make it on our own. Uh, you'll notice in this particular blitz, the end prize is not always the best prize. We actually want to make it one before the end. Uh, we want to get these new uh, shards because they are now three-star shards, uh, or three-star superstar shards. Try saying that five times fast instead of two-star superstar shards. Uh, our primary focus uh, as we run this tour is going to be on a green match. You'll see that green match on turn one allowed us to get both of our green moves off turn two and in the match. So that's match number one out of the way. Gets Brett to hit their heart. Um, with George Steele, as trainer, we get plus three MP because he's not upgraded all the way for our green. And with Jake the Snake Roberts, there's a good chance that it's gonna that we're gonna have that green match that we need on turn one. So we'll go up here against Sar Sergeant Slaughter again, focusing on the green. And you'll see here that sometimes Jake the Snake doesn't really give us uh, that much of an advantage, uh, we might say. Okay, so here we're going to do the body shot, which creates a two by five area of reinforce gems. These are just gems that have to be broken twice. When you break them the first time, they don't count toward the pinball. We'll do the cutter, which will uh, allow us to turn a two by two area into yellow gems. Uh, decent placement of that uh, will generally reach or uh, fully charge our yellow moon, our pedigree. So we got. Uh, 2,000 of the headliner loot coins there. Going after 20 health packs now as we face Cactus Jack. Uh, in my opinion, these 20 health packs and those 2,000 three-star superstar shards are uh, what we really want in this. Uh, I made a move trying to give myself some green, and it caused a uh, the ability for our opponent here to do a tremendous cascade with two wild cards. So that's going to do more damage than we would like. Remember, this is a blitz, so there's no health packs enabled. We'll go ahead and run this first green move without the second one. You'll notice here that we go for green instead of yellow. Uh, the reason being uh, damage, number one, and uh, the, the green is going to charge our yellow. So now we'll give us two, this will give us three, and there we go. One, two, three. Especially early on in these matches, you don't want to be taking a lot of damage. Because as you climb the ladder in the gauntlet blitz, your opponents get tougher. Without the ability to heal, that can sometimes be difficult. And we'll 
Bass and Shano Mac. 4,000 um, headliner loot coins. No green, so it will cause a nice little cascade here. Still no green. Take what we can get on the board. Green move is ready. There is some green now on the bottom. We'll take that. We're gonna have to suffer through another move of one of our opponents. Use our second green move. And uh, that should, oh, it didn't. It didn't actually cause a pinfall. So we'll have to make another match. We were one away, there was no sense in trying to go for yellow, we'll just go ahead and win the match. So you'll see it there. Now what this means with our 2,000 headliner loot coins from earlier and this 4,000, we'll be able to do one headliner loot opening um, just from doing this tour. Now we'll be going up against the chairman himself Vinny Matt. Get plenty of green on the board this time. It really is just hit or miss, I guess. Run our green moves in unison. And try not to take too much damage. Pinfall. We really didn't want that match to drag out because he is a striker. As you can see there, we're already uh, down a significant portion of our health. We got 25 TP from that. Next, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Get 300 of the diamonds for this. Uh, diamonds are cool and everything, but they don't really do events for them that often. And so if you need the tokens, uh, a lot of our faction members just go ahead and open them up. Uh, and then you have others that wait and stack and stack and stack until eventually when the event does come around, uh, they're able to get a fairly high place. So it's just it just depends on what you need at the particular time. I tend to uh, save mine just because I don't like spending anything without uh, something in return. I'm, I'm a cheapo, you might say. So there's our 2 by 5 area. Not a lot of yellow on the board to connect. It's okay, we didn't need that much. And now the first time we'll get to actually run our pedigree. This does base damage and then uh, a certain amount of damage for each reinforced gem that's left on the board. So that's why I took only the two off the top. That left us with eight. And I forget exactly what it is. It's about a thousand damage. So that's 8,000 damage added to whatever the base damage would be. Which I think is about 11 or 12K, so. Go. Up next is the rock. Absolutely no cream on the board. We do get some yellow. So turn two will end up taking some green here. And running those moves. Turn three. I hate this animation. It takes way too long. There we go. 
Uh, went from not seeing it at all to seeing it in back-to-back -back matches. Get the pedigree and end up. There we are, we get a token case. And then this next match is what we really want. Scott Hall with the 2,000 three-star superstar shard. I'm telling you what, that is that is one of the best tongue twisters I've ever found. Anyway, you get 2,000 of them, which uh, they're, I think it's 199 to open one. So you're looking at 10. Uh, 10 potential openings. Let's see there, we got a green move turn one. It's not going to be enough to charge up our second move, but definitely our first. We want to go ahead and get out as much damage as possible. Our yellow is in a place where it can be charged fairly easy by this cutter. We put it in a place that we don't think it's going to cause a pinfall. And it almost did. So he's in danger. Uh, we could have just made a match on the board. That's what we probably should have done. Um, but we just went ahead and run the yellow move. And there we go, that's really that's really what we care about. We got our 2,000 shards to be able to do that opening. We'll go ahead and just throw the rest of our health at this next guy. Um, see what Kevin Nash will do to us. And I'll see what we can do to him. Another thing, once you're in danger and you get pinned in this gauntlet blitz, you can't use cash to come back out of it. So. Just a FYI on that. We do get a wild card on turn one. Not able to use it though because it does fall into the cascade. No green on turn two, so we take a yellow. We're gonna get hit here with a move. And his move just happens to work out where he breaks one of his own column break gems. Because we haven't gotten any green matches, all we have is the first green move available. Again, we'll have to take yellow here. It's over. He's able to choose those gems to destroy. So that's going to do it here. That's going to wrap up our video. Uh, go ahead and show you just the final screen before we head out. But uh, what that means is until next time, I'll see you then.